You can't go to the bars right now, but the drinks can come to you. Today, Governor Polis announced a change in policy, now allowing alcohol delivery. Dylan Thomas met with a restaurant owner today who's now delivering food, drinks, and his homemade pasta. As snowflakes fall on the desolate streets of downtown Denver, The emptiness of the city is pouring in to chow more so hysteria. Our business is heavily dependent on our sales. We're handwriting signs. We've been using markers and crayons to just really make people aware when they drive by that we're active, we're serious. The staff has been cut almost as deeply as sales, the victim of COVID-19 concerns. Which dramatically de decreased our revenue stream and our ability to pay our rent, our, our employees, all departments. But Friday, Governor Jared Polis extended a lifeline, allowing Colorado restaurants Restaurants with licenses to not only sell alcohol with to-go orders, but also deliver it. It gave us uh, a little a tourniquet on the bleeding. Owner Ryan Fletter says his company will take what they can. I'm super excited that we get to explore it, even if it's just temporary. He's also exploring the idea of making his restaurant more of a grocery store. It seems you can't even buy pasta on the shelf right now, so we're making a big push to produce pasta, and you might be able to, to buy butter and a chicken or some eggs and a bottle of wine. While his company and others may be down, Letter says now is not the time to count them out. We are going to give it a good, heavy swing of the hammer like Thor. We're reactivated at this point with this ability to broaden our selection of service. In Denver, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first.